Hello, this is Faith at Faith and Books. Um, I'm going to do my video for tomorrow, for March 19th. Um, I just got off duty watching the four-year-old. His mother just got home. They've been working long hours because they're afraid they're going to get shut down because of the coronavirus. But anyway, um, so tomorrow is actually the Feast of St. Joseph. And St. Joseph's Day in Italy it's kind of like St. Patrick's Day in Ireland. I don't know why the Italians adopted St. Joseph. He wasn't Italian, but they did. And so it's a big feast day for them. And right now, Italy is in such terrible straits because of the coronavirus. So I thought we, uh, I would make the, um, the theme for tomorrow, everything Italian. Um, so you can plan to have a pasta dinner. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and I thought of some fun, easy, on-the-fly activities you can do with kids that is, um, you know, entertaining and uh, interesting and um, educational. Um, now, I didn't have time to vet. Um, I was just really busy all day. I didn't have time to vet very many videos or anything, but you can do that. You can just Google this stuff um, and come up with a couple of things. This is just a list of suggestions. So, um, so yeah, so we're going to have Italian for tomorrow's, um, we're going to have pizza for lunch and we're going to have spaghetti for dinner. Um, and, uh, some of the ideas I had, okay, so you can do Roman, you can go with the Roman theme, you can go with the Renaissance, like the, the famous Michelangelo, and Leonardo da Vinci, and, or you could go with opera. So, um, so my ideas for the Romans, I actually came up with the most for that, um, if you have an old sheet, you can cut it up and let the kids dress up in togas. Or if you have any leftover cardboard boxes or anything, they can make um, you know those round shields and maybe uh, some swords, and they can dress up like um, Roman soldiers. Um, so that's a fun thing to do. Um, let's see. Um, and then they could plan like chariot races, uh, you know, out in the driveway with uh, with whatever set kinds of wheels they have, bikes, trikes, um, skateboards, whatever. Or they could, you know, do something with their stuffed animals or whatever. They could uh, pretend they, you know, there was a coliseum and they were having games or something or gladiators or whatever, whatever they want to do with their imagination. Um, um, that's, uh, here's a really neat idea that I did a long time ago and I was trying to find instructions for it and I couldn't. But what, uh, one thing that you know the Romans made famous was their arch, and you can actually make an arch out of cheese. So if you have a block, if you happen to go into the grocery store and you have a block of like cheddar cheese or something, you're gonna make mac and cheese for lunch or something, uh, have the kids wash their hands, and then they can cut out the shapes that they need to make an arch, and it actually works. They have to figure out you know, how wide it's gonna be. They have to figure out the angle to cut the keystone or whatever it is that you call that center stone. And then they can actually, you know, you can actually balance it and see how the weight, you know, directs, um, I don't know, what do you call it, the force or whatever that makes it, the arch so strong. So yes, you can build a Roman arch out of cheese and it's actually a fun activity. I think we did it, we went to the building museum one time and that's what that's where they learned that that little activity. And then we came home, we did it at home. Um, let's see, uh, the other thing for the Romans is you can have them make some kind of a, a mountain, a volcano, and you can do the old baking soda and vinegar trick and, and learn about uh, Vesuvius and um, Pompeii. Uh, that would be another fun thing to do. Um, let's see. Okay, so that's the Roman stuff. For the Renaissance, I didn't get very far in thinking of this, but I did. You can find um, drawings from the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Um, uh, some of them have, have naked bodies on them, so your kids might not want to color those. But there are ones, you'll have to vet this first, that aren't. Um, but the neat idea for this is to have the kids tape the coloring page up underneath a table, like the kitchen table or the dining room table. And they might have to get pillows and stuff to, to lie down on so they'll be the right distance. And then they can try coloring, um, like um, 
Now, who was it that painted the Sistine Chapel? Was it Michelangelo? The way, the way um, was it Michelangelo or Leonardo da Vinci? Oh my gosh, I have to look it up. But anyway, um, just just the fact that they're gonna lie in the same position and paint, and painting is hard because it drips in your eyes. So you might wanna just do, you know, crayons or colored pencils. But that would be a neat thing to do. And then you should, um, maybe you can do a virtual tour. I'm pretty sure there's a virtual tour online that you can look at. And then, you know, you can find out whether it was Michelangelo or Leonardo da Vinci. Because at the moment, I can't remember. Um, so anyway, so that, that would be, that could be a fun and easy activity. And then the, the last idea I had was, you know, Italians love opera. It's their national music. When they were having their unification in the late 1800s, their big national hero was Giuseppe Verdi. Giuseppe is Joseph in, um, in uh, Italian. Um, and so uh, they love opera. And there's, a, I will put the link in the, oh, I'll be right there. Um, I'll put the link below, but there's a nice, um, a, a online resource where kids can learn about opera. Okay, that's all I've got. Talk to you later. Bye.